Hello everyone, this is Sankit Shivare and today we are going to discuss on problem number 2. So problem is, sketch the small signal differential voltage gain of the circuit as shown in figure if VDD varies from 0 to 3 volt and W by L is 50 by 0.5 that is 100 right. So V in common mode is going to be 1.3 volt and VB is 1 volt. Okay, so you can see here V in common mode is greater compared to VB that is 1 volt right. And uh, you can think on it that why is this that VB is 1 volt and V in common mode is 1.3 volt. So intuitively you can think like this way that VB is 1 volt right and the threshold voltage of this will not vary of M3. M1 and M2 threshold voltages will vary because of this body bias effect because this source is not connected to ground right. The threshold voltage of M1 and M2 because of body bias effect will be greater right. So suppose this is threshold voltage 0 0.6 volt, the threshold voltage of this will be suppose 0 0.7 volt, yeah, 0 0.8 volt like that, right? So if this is suppose 1 volt, so the VGS here will be 1 volt, right? So VGS is 1 volt, but here suppose V in common mode is 1 volt, the same as VB, then the this is not 1 volt, right? But one more thing remember that this is ISS, right? This is ISS. So this current, if both are, if all the transistors in saturation, this current will be IS by two. This current will also be ISS by two. Okay. So, so since W by L is same, so V, the threshold voltage, the VGS voltage that is required, VGS minus voltage is required here, and the VGS minus voltage is required will be different, right? It will be almost double. Okay. So remember this thing. Okay. And if suppose uh, this is the case. So let us solve this problem, okay? We want to plot the small signal differential voltage gain of the circuit, right? So when VD is, is very VD, that's supply. And we know that supply is from 0 to 3 volt, right? So V in common is 3.3 and V is 1 volt. So uh, one more thing, remember that neural network is given, that is 0 0.134 milliampere per volt square. We will be using this milliampere term because uh, this is required, right? So ISS is, in this case, 1 by 2 million 6 to well, which is minus 3, minus voltage in whole square, right? So now here it is 1 volt, right? VTHN is 1.7 volt. So when you solve this, ISS you are getting is 0 0.603 milliampere, right? So the current that is flowing that we have collected, right? So since VGS3 we know that is 1 volt, so we know that the current that is flowing is 0 0.603 milliampere. So the half current will flow here when all the resistors are in saturation. Remember that if suppose M1 and M2, either of them are linear, okay? The same current will be still flowing, right? Because the common mode is controlled, right? Since the same voltage will be appearing here, the same voltage will be appearing here. So this is symmetrical network, right? So remember this thing. Now suppose we see only M1. If we see only M1, so this is the picture that we are getting. I S by 2, V D, V and V. Now apply the saturation condition that we know, right? That is what V D H should be greater than V G S minus V D H. So we can see simply write V D should be greater than V G minus V D. So VD is greater than V minus VTN. Now VD is what? VD minus IS by 2 into RD. It's simple K KVL we are applying, nothing else, right? So this is VD. So then we we calculate it. So what we are getting is supply voltage should be greater than 0.6 plus 0.3 millivolt into RD. Okay. Now when supply voltage will cross this, what did I apply? When this will cross this, this transistor will be gone into saturation. This is the condition, right? So you can see here 0.6 is 0.6 volt, 0.3 that is into RD. Something, suppose RD is 1 kilo ohm, so this is 0.9 approximately. So VD is crossing 0.9, the all the transistor will be coming into saturation. That depends on RD. Now, you can see from the plot, when all the transistors are in triode here, when VD is 0, that is obvious. Now M3 will enter saturation first, okay? So M3 transistor will be entering the saturation first, okay? What is the condition for that? So VP should be greater than VB minus VTS3. So suppose this is 1 volt that is given to us. So VP will be when almost 0.4 volt, this transistor will be in the saturation. Okay, what will be the conditions of this F1 and M2 for this case? So since this is 0.4 volt, V in common mode is 1.3 volt, this is approximately what? 0.9 volt, right? So this 0.9 volt, this voltage across this is 0.9 volt, which is uh, suppose this is supply voltage, this is supply voltage, this is the current that is flowing. So uh, what we are getting here is that these transistors are having a 0.9 volt 
that is VGS here, right? What is the VGS here? That is per volt. VP, we are saying this is, this has to be 0.4 volt for M3 to be in saturation, right? So from this intuitively, you can think like that this, this will be in linear region, okay, in that situation. Now the question is why these are in linear region, right? So you can see that BD has still not reached this value, right? This value is not reached. So if this value is not reached, so this potential will be always less than this potential, right? You can think like that way. So suppose this is one volt, supply is one volt, this is one volt here, right? This VP has to be only 0.4 volt, but this is one volt here. So what we are voltage you are getting here is, what voltage you will get here is, since this is 1.3, so this will be, this has to be what, at, at least it has, this Vx should be what, Vd minus Vth, right? This is the maximum it can go. After that, this transistor will go in saturation. Well, Vx has to be greater than this voltage by threshold amount, right? So what I am saying is, this, this is 1.3 volt. So this has to be at least Vth lower. So Vth lower is what, 0.7 volt, something like that, right? This is one volt. And so you can see that the margin is very less. So this transistor will not be in saturation. This will be going linear region. So suppose R D is 10 kilo ohms, the drop is more, right? So this is the supply and you can see this is the voltage here. So the drop here will be more, right? It's point, uh, 0.3 milliampere we have collected, right? And suppose this is 10 kilo ohms, so almost 0.3 volt it is going to consume here, right? So this voltage will not be that much. So in total you can understand that this transistor will be in linear region at that point. So M3 will achieve saturation first. That is what I am trying to say. So, and the final gain is what? Minus J into RD. That is the gain that you will get of this refreshable pair, right? That is, you remember. So this is the how the plot will look like. So gain will be less here and in linear region almost the gain will be very small. But after all the resistors reaching saturation, the gain will be constant. Okay. So hope you enjoy this lecture.